students today we'll discuss about another physics paper jwe mains physics 2014 so let us discuss all those questions one by one okay all students let us solve question number 12 one mole of diatomic acyl gas undergoes a cyclic process a b c a b n c like this starting from a it goes to b then c then come back to a the process b c is uh, adiabatic this is adiabatic process the temperatures are a b c are given a 400 kelvin b 800 kelvin c 600 kelvin respectively choose the correct statement the change in internal energy in a uh, whole cyclic process is 250 r the change in internal energy in the whole cyclic process is always zero that you must know the change in internal energy in the process c to a c to a is this a b is this and b c is this so you have to for solve the internal energy in each processes and see what is the answer so what we have is <clears throat> this is the volume axis and this is the pressure axis this is a this is b and this is c a to b its temperature is 400 kelvin and its temperature is 800 kelvin its temperature is 600 kelvin this is the cyclic process now <coughs> the change in uh, internal energy we must know that uh, internal energy uh, is a uh, state function internal energy is a state function and uh, it doesn't depend on the path it follows so it only depends on the temperature difference so therefore uh, let us find the internal energy in each of the processes change in internal energy in the process a to b is uh, is a is independent pressure independent of uh, uh, the process so n cv delta t this is the formula i am going to use one mole of diatomic gas so n being one and uh, diatomic so degree of freedom is 5 cv is a uh, f by 2 r so it is 5 by 2 r so we substitute here n is 1 5 by 2 r delta t is the uh, and the process from a to b the final temperature minus the initial temperature that is 800 minus 400 that comes out to be this is 4 by 2 that is uh, 200 so 1000 r 1000 r so this is the change in internal energy but then uh, in the process a to b is they have given minus 350 r which is not correct so option 3 is not correct option 3 not correct now <clears throat> let us find the change in uh, internal energy from Say process B to C and then A to C. The internal energy change in internal energy in the process uh, A to C to A. C to A. 
and the process C to A is uh, again N C V delta T N is 1 C V is uh, 5 by 2 R and delta T is uh, as you can see from C to A the final temperature is 400 the initial temperature is 600 so it will be final minus initial that comes out to be it here it is uh, 200 by 2 is minus 500 R okay this is minus uh, 200 divided by 2 minus 100 and to 5 minus 500 R so again if you see the option for CA it is 700 R that is also not true so option 2 is not correct now option B to C you will see now but we know that uh, the change in internal energy in a cyclic process cyclic process is zero so here it is 250 R so option 1 is also not correct option number one is not correct then which option is correct the only one is left is uh, option number four and let us find out that option number four says the change in internal energy in the process bc is minus 500 r let us find that if the total uh, put in, uh, change in internal energy in a system in a cyclic process is zero that means change in energy from A to B plus change in energy from uh, B to C plus change in energy from C to A or sum up to zero. <coughs> A to B we have already calculated and that was uh, found to be A to B is uh, 1000 R. A to B is 1000 R. So I'll write 1000 R. Plus B to C, we have not calculated, we will write like that, B, C. Plus C to A, we have calculated minus 500 R, that equals to 0. So if I solve this, this minus, this is 500, that goes to other side of the equation. So it is becoming minus 500 R. So minus 500 R. If I see the change in internal in the process B to C is minus 500 R, that is correct answer. Also, you, if we go for direct calculation of uh, B to C, change in internal energy from B to C is uh, N CV delta T. N is 1, CV is 5 by 2 R. Then uh, B to C is uh, this process B and C. And the temperature was uh, 800 and uh, 600 so final temperature is 600 minus initial temperature is 800 so this 200 is minus 500 R this also way is minus 500 R and this way also it is minus 500 R so therefore option number 4 is correct Thank you.